Legend of Total War here, and today we're playing a little bit of Medieval 2, but this is a special kind of video. This isn't a campaign series, so what we're doing is... What I'm, what I'm going to do today is sort of... I wouldn't call it a challenge video, this is just sort of trying to make a point. I'm going to play Medieval 2 as if it was one of the later Total War games, so Rome 2, Attila, um, Warhammer playing by the same restrictive game style that the campaign forces you to play on as, as those games, except with Medieval 2. So, having played quite a few hours of Total War Warhammer now, it's given me a lot of time to reflect on, I guess, the good and the bad of it. I've given it a positive uh, review on Steam, and I still stand by that, because I do feel like the things that they introduced into the game are really good, and they, they need to be acknowledged, but at the same time, the shit that they have stripped from campaign also needs to be acknowledged because it's totally unacceptable. Anyway, so what we'll do is we're going to play the single player campaign, grand campaign. I'm going to play this as Vedas on the hardest difficulty, of course. And like I said, I'm going to play this as if it was Total War Warhammer. As in, only going to have six building slots per province. Um, only going to... Sorry, every, every army must have a general in it, in order to be used. Uh, I cannot manage my own garrison, so I can of course garrison settlements, but they have to have the general in there. Um, I'm going to auto-resolve all the battles, because in Total War Warhammer, that's really effective, but I'm going to basically show you just how ineffective it is in Total War, uh, sorry, Medieval 2. Um, this is just so people get an idea of just how, how backwards Total War Warhammer is. If you play it well, play it well that way, you know, order resolve everything, to spam levy troops, that is, it really is sort of the way to go on legendary difficulty. It's not, not the fun way to go, but it is the effective way to go. So what I'm doing here is playing this game ineffectively, but in the style that would be effective in Wellhammer. I'm sure you guys get where I'm coming from. Anyway, so, one of the reasons why I've decided to do this, because one of the, a term that's come up lately, so hang on, let me just order resolve this, alright, Normally that would be, oh, sorry, in Warhammer that would be considered a great result because we didn't lose any battalions, but there's no order replenishment in this, so it could be a problem. Okay, so in Total War Warhammer, some terms have been coming up which I've never heard in a Total War community before. The main one is cheesy. Like, I know what cheesy means, it's like repetitive styles of, of, uh, of gameplay, which I guess that does describe how I played Total War Warhammer, but the thing is, it's sort of not something that, like I said, has been associated with Total War before. Because I've been doing... My, my introductory into the community was with Medieval 2. And people straight away were like, Oh man, this guy's dirty, he's dishonorable, and he's exploitative. And all of those things absolutely do um, describe me. I have no problem being called those things. Um, but Cheesy, it's more a case of... The thing that pisses me off about Cheesy is not really when people call me Cheesy. I'm just like... Has Total War really become so arcadey that cheesy is now an accurate term for someone who plays those games in th that style? And that pisses me off. Alright, so what else are we going to do? Like, uh, another thing as well. I, I feel like I do need to clarify these things because I need to be clear with you guys or else some of you won't understand. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks of me, whether they like me or hate me. I don't give a shit. But what I do care about is my reputation. I don't want to be known as the auto resolve guy. I don't like the term cheesy. I like to be known as a skilled Total War player. I play Total War Warhammer skillfully. It might be considered cheesy, it might be considered boring, but I play it skillfully. So I just sort of wanted to just dispel that rumor. The thing is, when I play Medieval 2, Normally, I fight nearly every single battle manually because the game is designed that it rewards you for doing that. I can, if I had fought Zagreb manually there, I would have lost one tenth the amount of soldiers, no problem. You know, and it would have been, of course, more fun. But like I said, I'm trying to make a point with this video. All right, now I don't need all of these ships. In fact, I don't even think I. No, I'll keep one of them. Let's see how much they cost in upkeep. Yeah, I'll keep one of them. Spend that. You stay there. Don't need all of these ships. Okay. Now, are you able to... Um, hmm. 
need to think about how we're going to do this because we do have you know limited funds. We're not making a lot of money, and I'm going to spam levy garbage. So only things that have either the peasant title or militia um, title. Um, no knights, no soldiers, because you know. Take take for example, um, I don't know, green skin campaign where I just the cop with uh, Mr. Smart Talk. I'm just spanning basically gobos all the time because you know you can't deny it. it's effective. You know, two stacks of gobos takes out pretty much any single stack. So, but does that same method apply to medieval too? Hell no! You get yourself stomped when you do that. All right, but I need to stop um, going on about it and like actually show it. So we need to recruit, but the thing is, I can only recruit in settlements that actually have a general. And we can only have six building slots. And this one starts off with seven. So yeah, we've got to play by the same restrictive methods as, as that. Alright, um, what are we doing here? Maybe improve the city watch, I think would be good. Here, this settlement doesn't matter at all. Um, I should bring this guy... Oh, I that's right. When I conquer a settlement, I have to stay there for the turn. I need to because that's what happens in Total War, Rome Two, Attila, and and Warhammer. Um, even if they had heaps of movement points prior to attacking the settlement. All right. Yep. Peasant there. I'll also get myself a bowyer. Oh, and also can't adjust the tax rates. All all normal uh, tax rates. That's what it has to be. They would have free upkeep, I think. So let's grab that. Alright, I've got a merchant. Where should I put him? There's silver up here. I'll grab that. A Venetian diplomat. Um, I don't know. So I want to take out the Holy Roman Empire here as soon as possible. I uh, will actually construct a castle here. Castles will be easier to maintain public order if they don't have garrisons. Take rebel settlement of Durazzo. That's over there. How much are they providing me with? 2,500. That's too good to uh, to turn down. Let's go for that. We can also hire mercenaries because in Rome 2 and, and Attila, it, you can hire mercenaries. You just can't in Warhammer. Unless you're sort of like vampire counts. Um... Alright, I want you to come back over here so I can use these two armies to take Bologna or maybe give the, these troops over to him. I just merge them. It's all good. Okay, the public order there is maintained. I'll build the must. No, actually, I won't do that. Um, if you get close enough to here, yeah, then I can sell you to Bologna. That should be able to make that. There's also mercenaries here. This will come in handy. Possibly. There's roads out this way. Yes. Yes. And it should be rebel controlled. It might be a good idea for us to go over there. Okay, public order goes ah oh, goes downhill by way too much. All right. Can't do that. Right. Moving on. And then his merchant here was too... F What's the chances on that? 40%? I'm very unlucky with agent actions normally, so I'm not going to do that. Where is he? Okay, that's as far as he can get this turn, that's fine. Durazzo with you. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Good, easy win, but of course, this is early campaign stuff. Oh, shit, I should have sacked the city. At least I made a lot of money out of that. Also, because we get free upkeep for three units here, there's no reason why we can't do that. Um. Yeah, this definitely needs town hall. If we're going to leave here, we, we need to make make sure the public order is good or else this is sort of costing us too much yes. can't recruit here don't have a general here at the moment but I can oh no I've already got six building slots here 
Um, I could destroy the stables. So I'll just leave it for now. Everything's looking good. Looking good. Let's move on. Greetings. Our people boast why this was a good day for our people. Reinforced region of Zagreb. Yeah, it's not worth it. Alright. Now let's make the attack. Can't leave any units behind because we, we're not allowed to manage our own garrisons. Because reasons. Units can only be maintained inside of an army. Owned by a general. Orders? Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Oh, no, it's shit, what am I doing? Just instincts just take over sometimes. Um, so it revolted, uh, rioted here, but that's okay. Let's convert that, because it'd be easier to maintain. Yes, your will. Now, if I really yes. wanted to play, like, like Total War Warhammer does, I should build one siege tower, and let it take five turns to build that. But, I mean, if it was Total War Warhammer, you could build a battering ram. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll build one battering ram, because that's all you can build in, like, one given turn. Um, I guess I could build a mustering hall, but I need to get a general over there if I want to actually make use of it. Come on, backfire on them. Excellent. Alright then, let's order resolve this. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Oh god. Medieval 2 order resolve coming into play right here. Look at that. We had the order resolve bar in our favor. Boom, we got smashed. There we go. I'm almost kind of happy it did that because it solidifies my point. Well then. That's not good. Alright, so, what are we going to do about that? We're still at war with them. We're going to have to do something about that. Um, I mean, the balance of power was in our favor. Okay, I'm going to send you over here. Is he in? Yeah, I think he's in there. Okay, so, let's... Let's go there. Now, in Total War Warhammer, that was a guaranteed slam dunk. What well, would have been? Um, yep, some more peasants could be useful. How much money are we making per turn? Not a lot. I mean, we would have saved a bit of money, essentially, by losing that, that army. Oh, well, moving on. Our Ooh, I did lose that battle, but you can go fuck yourself. I'm still gonna try and take it. Until next time. Gotta be at war with someone. I bring word from my people, noble one. I could not be happier. You speak honorably, my lord. Farewell. Yes, my Alright, I want you to come yes. and st yes. uh Yes. That woman's standing right on the bridge there. Come stand over here. Yes, my lord. Your will. Orders. Onward. And yes, you get into the port. Okay, so we, we desperately need to recruit more troops. Orders. There's mercenaries here as well, so we can make another attempt on that. That city. All right, are we able to leave here? Not yet. Yes. I want to send this guy up here. Oh, he's got an army. He's probably going to go to Ragusa. Can't leave it defended. Orders. Those mercenaries really could come in handy. Maybe I should attempt it again next turn. Who's got more command? You don't have much. Alright, moving on. I'm going to 
gonna do? I can't manage my own garrisons. Yes. Yes. All right, let's attempt this again. Oh, the spy got out. And now he's dead. It's all right. He's just wounded. He'll come back in a few turns, right? No, he won't. Um. Yeah, you stay right there, besiege it, and get the mercenaries. Hey, which one's cheaper? Get one of those. You stay here and recruit. Things are going very badly right now for us. Okay, there was only a small army there, so let's send our guys over here to retake it. This is where we shall meet the enemy. We can march no further today. Yes? Yes! Crossing for battle. Is it time to take the walls, my lord? Okay, we've got ourselves another general here. I'll need to send him somewhere. Wait, hang on. What if, what if the other guy just by himself could stay here? Yes. Well, I could split some of the army up. Okay, cancel that one there, so that he can be recruited here. And then I'll send you to Rhodes, so you can take it, because I need more money. Alright, so how much money are we making? Oh man, I'm hemorrhaging cash. Seems like the, the garrison of Bologna really dropped down by a bit. So, probably going to get excommunicated because of this. I was, I've never been concerned about excommunication before, why should I be concerned about it now? Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. Okay. Orders? Yes, my lord. This is where we Okay, we got the victory this time. The day is ours. And we should definitely sack the city. Noble lord, Holy Roman Empire coming down this way. Oh, you wanna you wanna go me, do you can't? Now of course we're having public order problems pretty much everywhere. Yes. That's alright. Yes. That would have been a slam dunk order resolve, but you know, it happens. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Besieging settlement, my lord. They're going nowhere, my lord. The siege continues. All right. Orders. No, you. So they need to stay there for the turn. Yes. Can we recruit anything here? No. Well, I mean, you will eventually be able to. Now, just a reminder, of course, I can't adjust the tax rates because you can't adjust them in total war Warhammer. Uh, what should I build here? We've already got the town guard. Let's build a town hall because we need public order. I've got a bit of money. Look, uh, they'll have free upkeep. So, yeah, get those. In case we can, yeah, recruit some peasants, which are goddamn awful in order to resolve, but... Doesn't matter. Uh, Venice, what do we need here? We're probably better off actually destroying the church and building a town hall because it does provide more public order. Only a little bit. But it's more like the later chains provide more. So yeah, I'll do that. Because we can only have six buildings. To keep that in mind. So yeah, that doesn't help with the Pope. The Pope already hates us anyway. Mission failed. Reinforce region. Yeah, don't worry about that. Am I the largest faction? How many regions do we have? One, two, three, four. I don't know. What have, oh. yes. Hang on. I should hire up some more mercenaries because these have a habit of backfiring, as we've seen. Okay, good. Make sure we sack it. Definitely need a chapel here. Got to maintain public order. Alright, when are we going to be able to retake that? Well, I think going to need to recruit different types of units. Um, well, we can do it with just peasants, why not? Order resolve worked well, doesn't it? Alright, I want you to smash Captain Adolf here. Smash him again. I actually lost more men than they did. The 
how bad is the public order there? It's pretty bad. Right, you'll need to stay there. And you'll need to come back to Venice to recruit more troops. Okay, merge the units that we've got there. I kind of need to reel this back to the capital because leaving leaving settlements undefended like this is kind of bad for public order. Hang on, where's the capital? We should move it maybe over to Zagreb. Oh wait, sorry, no, I can't adjust the capital, can I, in, in other Total War games, so, no, I can't do that. Alright, uh, never mind then. Alright, moving on to the next turn. I would advise you to listen to us. Okay, let's get some money out of them, because I desperately need it. And that's probably not going to work. Should be generous, because my reputation's not very good. So we'll try 4,000. Okay, now I actually have to give them a gift. Very well. Very good. What else Let's try with 2,000. Because if I, if I didn't accept it again, yeah. Alright, good. At least I made 1,900 out of that deal. And I only wanted Bologna. I don't need any more of their settlements. Take Rebel Settlement of Smyrna. Okay, cool. I'll I'll do that. Provided we can leave here. Yes. We can't, but it's not too bad. Um, what are the problems here? It's big time religious problems. Um, and of course being excommunicated is a little bit of an issue. But two and a half thousand is a lot of money. Bless you, Lord. Back on dry land. Your orders, number one. I would say Sergeant Spearman, yeah, we could use those. Even though they're not really they're, they're sort of on the on par with like spear militia. Yes? Onward. I need some more soldiers so I can go take Florence. So yeah, what we're going to do with this, is just, I'm just going to play this for an hour. You guys can be the judge of, of the, you know, the difference in, in play styles. I mean, I doubt that you guys would want me to continue playing the campaign this way. Because it basically can't be won this way at all. Because we're just going to run into public order issues playing it like this. Um, hmm. And if everyone was complaining, well not everyone, but a lot of people were complaining so much about how I play it this way. with Total War Warhammer, why would you want me to play this way in Medieval 2? All right. So roads rioted. That's okay. There's only a small garrison here, but I think I'll need a few more troops. Armenian archers, which have the best. Okay, yeah, we'll go with those. So it looks like. The Byzantine Empire is going to come here. We're going to need to prepare for that. I need more money. Right, what are we going to do? I need to take Florence. So in order to, to get more money... Let me just see here. I need to conquer regions. So I'm going to... This army should be sufficient to take Bologna. Any chance you could recruit here? No, I don't have enough cash. Um, I might disband this because yes. I need to get more cash. And you guys here, how's this going here? Alright, um... I think you should just still stay here for the time being. We don't have enough troops. Move on. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We come bearing word for you. That's fine, but why don't we also get... Fine, whatever. Wankers. Probably should have asked some money from them for that. They got a lot of territory for that. I mean, a lot of troops. Whatever. 
Okay, we're not playing this to win the campaign. We're playing this to make a point. Alright, good. We're at peace with them. That's good. Come over here. Let's take this. Mercenaries available. They're going nowhere, my lord. The siege continues. Okay, good. Some of those, we should be able to take that castle back. Alright, sallying out here would yes, potentially work. Good. Yeah. So I knew they'd die anyway, so it's all good. I would like to go and hit hit Corinth. Yes, my lord. In course now, my lord. All right, we need a mustering hall here. At least those troops at uh, at Rhodes are stuck there for the time being. Alright, so I can't recruit here. Well, what if I send that guy back? Well, I'm more actually recruiting here as it is at the moment. Um, we could build a small church here. But I actually kind of want something that's going to make us more money. Because we're not exactly making a lot. How are we going here? What if I was to recruit um, agent, agent Limit Reached? Oh well. Just move on to the next turn then. Well, couldn't defend Zagreb, but then again, if they're moving up there, then surely they've left um, Ragusa undefended, right? They have. Alright, now's the time to strike. Now. Oh, look, we've got a new general here, so we can actually leave someone behind to maintain. And you suck. Maintain the public order. You should get more of those. Alright, and let's yes. take Florence. Yes. For Good, we lost more troops than the enemy. Well, sort of. The day is ours. The enemy this dead. game really punishes you for auto resolving, which is fantastic. Alright, we should convert this to a castle, it'll be easier to maintain. It's worth a decent amount of cash. Actually, um, no, no troops on there. No, it's just a merchant. It's all good. Your orders? I don't think we should stay here. I think we should go for Corinth. Yes. Can't maintain the public order anyway. Might as well destroy this. Okay, let's build that because we need public order because I want this guy to leave. Okay, moving on. Should be able to win that, but there's always mercenaries if I had the money. I'm actually hemorrhaging money now. Um, what I might do is if I could bring this guy over as well. The public order is just not stable enough. Yes, Lord. Orders? Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet. Alright, good. And yeah, I think we need to execute them. Hopefully we can take that castle back. We're going to have to do something drastic. I think we need to go and fight Milan. Now, let's go to this diplomat. Alright, if I was to take this guy out of the city, public order goes very bad. 
what I could do is send him firstly down here to transfer his troops and then you stay here. Public order here is oh, actually even worse. You'll have to switch between settlements. Make things worse. Um, I, I need to take another settlement. I just need to get into a fight. Oh look, their unit actually um, deserted. Moving on. Okay, how bad's the riot? Okay, town hall was damaged and blown up. That's not too expensive to repair, but I don't have any money. Your orders, noble one. Orders? Yes, lord. Okay, just wait there. You'll make the attack next turn. Sacking Genoa could be worth a lot of cash to us. Can't win that. I'll have to just hold the siege down for seven turns. Good. There we won that one. Sack that. Good. That gives us money. We can work with that now. No amount of extra troops is really going to make a difference unless we hire some proper ones. So Sergeant Spearman's are going to be needed. I'll have to send reinforcements. Okay, at least they gave us enough money to repair some of this shit. And recruit more troops. Alright, what else? Um, what can I do here to improve public order? How much Catholicism is here? Quite a lot. What else? That'll provide public order as well. Just a little bit, but that's okay. It all, it all adds up. Because I need him to leave. So you have to stay there for the turn. Might as well hire that. I doubt it'll provide any um, any additional bonuses. We shouldn't make stupid attacks. Just because we're playing this game stupidly. Good, a bit of extra money from that. As you wish. I shall take the foreigner's business. Yes, there's money in this, my lord. Okay, I need to convert this to a castle. Your will. Okay, moving on. Chances are it's going to be a defeat. Oh, thank fuck. Sometimes works in your favour. In, in Warhammer, that would have been a defeat. Civil Revolt in Smyrna, that's fine. Alright, excellent. I'm glad this guy came back to fight. Smashed him and... Don't ransom him off. Oh, that could be bad. We might need some mercs here. Now, of course, we could have done a droid if I had fought that battle manually. But... Yeah. Okay, so... Great, now my way back to that settlement is blocked. Florence is under control at least. I think we'll need to build roads here so I can move around a bit faster. Can't go chasing after him because we can't leave the settlement. How are we going financially? Fucking horribly. You want us gone? Then your orders? Alright, so that helped a little bit with money. So that really get handed over to the Byzantines, that's annoying. Um, we have to stay here for the turn, but I'll destroy this, because that'll give us some money. I'm actually inclined to just, just goddamn well abandon this settlement, because like, we're paying more, the troops more than it's worth. We just need to, we just really need to get out here and, um, and fight in this area here. Move out. 
So yeah, we're just going to abandon it because I can't hold it. Scorch those tactics, I can't hold it. And keep these two together. Yeah. And maybe we'll make our way to uh, Thessalonica and go and sack that. Okay, now if I was to build this, that would provide me with jack shit income because we don't have enough trade partners. I've only got six build slots, I've already used them all up, so I can't build anything new. I can build that. That will help with public order at least. Okay, we can recruit here, that's good. Merge these guys. What else can I recruit here? Nothing here for the time being, so I just want peasants, which I don't want. Okay, moving on. Please tell me I built this. Yes. I yes, did, good. Lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Ah! The day is ours. Sack that. Crusade called on Cairo. Great, I can't join it. Noble Lord, we have conquered. Though. So even even though you can tell that this is a terrible way to play the game, we're still doing okay. Like I've got eight settlements, but it's largely because I know what I'm doing strategically, but fucking hell. In seventeen turns I could be fucking have conquered France by now if I had fought these battles manually. This game is currently not rewarding my lazy style, which is exactly what I've been asking from, you know, uh, when I went to Creative Assembly back in November, I did make the comparison between Medieval 2 and, and Attila with Auto Resolve. It is a big difference. It doesn't matter that I can't recruit troops there. Hang on, what's the public audit? It's actually worse. If it riots, it'll be fine. Um, okay. I need to go and take take that region back as well. Even just for just to sack it. Okay, good to see the public order is under control. Now, Ragusa, uh, sorry, Dar Daruza, whatever the fuck it's called. Darazo. Public order is it's almost under control. That's pretty good. Now we can't we can't leave here just yet. Orders? Okay, so, yeah, Corinth is going to revolt, uh, not Corinth, um, Iracleon. We don't really need Corinth either, either. Um, let me just see, if I was to leave it, 60%. Okay, what I might do is hand over some of the troops to him. Which one's got the most, okay, you've got chivalry and very low command. So you stay here. And look after it while we go up this way. Thessalonica's ripe for the sacking. And let's move on. Finances once again going to absolute shit. Florence rioted. But the public order is now under control again, so I guess just people died. Big deal. Really need another spy. Where have I got access to him? Well, for one thing, I don't have any money, so that's off the table. They've actually got a very large army there. I'm going to need this guy to come and help. Where he can't quite leave it yet. Yes. Name thy enemy, Lord. Some mercenaries would come in handy. Just stay somewhat close by. Maybe if we're lucky, they'll send some troops out to come and try and stop us. Ah, crap. Big army there. Oh, well. 
From what I can tell here, our numbers are greater, but we'll have to see whose soldiers are better, really. Okay, so still plummeting financially. What am we going to do with these guys here? Large army in Venice. Where's my diplomat? See if I can get a peace treaty with them. We suspect you will waste our time. How could you ask these of us? This Dicks. Alright, um... Because when they've got a big army like this, order resolve really doesn't play in your favour. Okay, moving on. Send emissary to France. No thanks. Yes? Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Oh, good. The good stuff. And we'll sack that. Okay, this is going shit. Um, actually, no, don't repair it. Destroy this. Destroy that. Don't want it. Must be gold here or something. Also, I think you can fight him as long as you don't leave the city. God damn, we lost a lot of men on that one. I will take a ransom. I need the money. Okay, we should eventually be able to recruit some decent units here. Can't adjust the tax rate. Improve the town hall. So what have we got now? Eight regions still. But I just took a region. Oh right, I lost. Um, I lost this. That's fine. They're recruiting. I think I should just besiege the settlement and just sit there. Just starve them out, maybe. They've built it up quite... They're just hiring peasants. Sort of like what I've been doing. So whose army's bigger? Mine is. Alright. Just starve them out for the time being until some reinforcements can actually show up and help. Okay, we do actually have an income coming in again, which is good. It's so fucking hard to play this way. Oh, I got another general. Okay, great. You come down here. Actually, you. I think you can beat this one. Oh, it's going to be close. In total war Warhammer, that would be a victory. And it's a victory here as well, except I could have gotten a much better victory if I had fought it manually. So what do we need here? Probably some roads would be good. Ah, uh, that's why where our income's gone down, because these guys block and trade here. That's okay, we can probably get rid of them soon. I need to recruit more. Might disband them. Just mercenaries. Okay, moving on. My lord, it was all we would ask you to lower your swords and hear us out. Hmm. What I'll do is I will actually accept this. But I want them to pay me some money because Um I won't pay them any money as long as I've got more than ten thousand or sorry, less than ten thousand wealth. So really this doesn't do anything. Fair enough. Let's see if they try again another time. They probably didn't have enough money. Rebels attacking us. Alright, now, if I get you to sally out here, this should be easy win. Good. But we lost a lot of men. They don't auto replenish. And I'm not making a whole lot of cash. So Milan has joined the Crusade. I don't see their Crusader army, but if they could um, soften up their forces and go down that way, that would be great for me. So, money-wise, no, we'll make it a little bit. So that's... Oh, shit, Ragusa. 
needs assistance now. I can't get there in time. What can I do to maybe build it up? Oh shit, there's, yeah, there's more than six building slots there. It needs to be destroyed. I could hire a mercenary boat here. I need a thousand florins. Alright, what can I destroy here? I don't need the stables. Get rid of that. Oh, you have to be fucking kidding. Um, what does that have to hope it doesn't revolt then? Because the only way for me, I mean, I could send a general there, technically, but I'd have to disband all my troops. Because you know how this thing works. Alright, so, let's send you up here to clear this off. We shall send them to hell or worse. March. We shall let them... Hopefully that increases our income a bit. Them apart, my I think it did a little bit. Yes. Bologna, public order goes downhill. You'll need to go back there and look after it. I don't think staying here is, is worth the amount of money. If we were to leave, just out of curiosity, let me have a look. Public order is at 20%, so yeah, can't leave it. So, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Revolt at Ragusa. Now we're really in, in the shit financially. However, they have softened their forces up here. I might be able to actually go and take that. Let me strike, my lord. God will see justice we should wait for him to... Oh, uh, the thing is... What I would technically do in Medieval 2, um, normally, what I could do, build a fort here and then send the rest of my forces over here. But you can't do that in Total War Warhammer, so I I'm not going to do that. I can't do it. It's against the rules. Um, I'm just going to take... we got to take a risk or else we're just... we're fucked. Besieging settlement, my lord. Who do I face? So we just have to hope that he just continues on his journey, because they can attack us because... We're on crusade. So yeah, we're starving them out here because the odds are not in our favor. Send you up here to come and help. The public order here looks like it's going to revolt. I can't maintain public order like this. All right, moving on. It revolted. I need to go and kill the Pope. Good, um, Milan should be right to fall. <laughs> Alright, with that, it's pretty much GG. We're fucked. Okay, so I think I've made my point now. With that, because that was, that would have, if that was a Total War Warhammer, that would have been a slam dunk. Now, so as you can see, so we're going we're gonna to end, the, end the, the video here. As you can see, it, playing Total War Warhammer this way, I would have, by, by turn 22, conquered quite a lot. And it would be, everything would be going well. Now, looking at this situation here, totally fucked. If we keep playing along these lines here, it's just, we're ruined. Because the auto-resolve in this game punishes laziness, and that's exactly what it's supposed to do. So anyway, guys, uh, that's the end of this episode, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.